Okay, real quick here, I want to go over the cards, as this is a deck destruction deck. As you build your hand, you're going to be wrecking your hand, um, which is interesting. I'm going to show you the various things the cards can do real quickly, as they all pertain to gameplay. Uh, the cards from here to the end here are all Union cards. There is one Confederate card that's different in that it, you can build a fort with it. Um, the cards allow you to do several things. And I'm going to zoom in on a card here and we're going to discuss it. Let's zoom in on right here. The cards allow you to build armies, as you can see from the one, uh, the three, and the two here. Um, those are the things along the top of the cards you can do. You can build armies, you can affect the blockade, which I just discussed, or you can do affect the Europe track, shown by a politician at the top. If you use these events along the top of the card, if it has cards next to it, you must discard that number of cards from your hand to play it. So for me to play the Affect the, Un the Union Blockade, I have to play this card, discard two cards. At that point, because I've had to discard cards from this hand, this card is eliminated from the game. It is destroyed. It is not reshuffled when you reshuffle cards, as I was discussing earlier. The same thing with the politician. The same thing with building armies of two or three strength. The cards are eliminated from the game. They cannot be played again for any purpose. They are removed from the shuffle deck. Cards played for building a one strength army may be reshuffled back in the deck. They go in the discard pile. They are not eliminated from the game. That explains the top of these. Okay, this card can be played by the Confederate player to build a fort, which is basically a one, a three strength army that cannot move. Forts can't move. But I got to discard one card to do it, and then it's removed from the game forever. If I play those cards again, they're removed from the game forever. They cannot be played again. The card here is an action card. They're either free action, which means it does not take an action during my turn to use, or it's an action. This is an action. It's a rail movement card. And it allows me to move two units to any location I'm legally connected to. And connected means I have a rail line. The rail line does not move through a contested area. Um, in your turn, you get two actions, which are two plays of a card, or a pass and a play, or you can discard a card and play an action. So I, with this card, I could build one Union Army and discard it to be reshuffled. I could play it for the action and allow it to be reshuffled, or I could play it for one of the three things that are possible here along this sidebar uh, that allow it to be discarded and replayed. And I'm going to show you what these are. When you move into combat, you're allowed to play one card into combat. If I move a three army, say up here I move my three army from Washington to the three army in Manassas. So I've got a three on three. As the attacker and union player, I play one card face down. The Confederate player does not know what it is. The Confederate player decides if he's going to withdraw or fight. If he fights, he can then play one card that could affect the combat, or he does not have to play a card, but the attacker always has to play a card. In this case, my three is attacking the Confederate three. The Confederate player decides to stay. There is a modifier here on the board under Manassas that the Confederate player gets plus one. So now I got three Union strength attacking four Confederate strength. I've played a leader card as a Union, and I reveal it. It is a four. You can see that here. When you play that for that purpose, it goes into the discard pile. That's a general, basically. That's a very good Union general. Now, I could also play this card for rail movement. It allows me to move, gives me two choices. I can move from a location to a location with any and all of my units. So I could move three different units from Washington to Manassas. Or I can move one unit any length of connected rails along the, the board. The third one for the Union is a C movement, which would allow me to move from Washington to Fort Monroe, Savannah, or New Orleans. 